And welcome back. Well, a little bit ago, we heard from Common Ground volunteer Paula Peterson about aerial applications in the fields this time of the year. And now Paula is back with a recipe to share and Taryn is standing by now with more. This is the perfect recipe for me today because I didn't have time for breakfast. Uh, <laughs> as you know, we moved our son down to TCU in Texas for grad school. Yeah, it was a big change. We're excited for him, but we got home late because in the true Vanderford fashion, we pack a lot in. Well, that's what you have to do. <laughs> I mean, it's proper pre-planning. <laughs> right. So I didn't have any breakfast, so I'm looking forward to this. Okay. And you said this is basically bread pudding. It's basically bread pudding in a muffin. Okay. Um, the, I used um, brioche bread, but you could use whatever you've got. Um, one fun little thing is if you um, freeze it for just a little bit, it makes it easier to cut up into chunks. Oh, um, okay. Our neighbor um, Lynn told me that when we were getting bread ready for communion. She said if you freeze oh. it just a little then it makes it really easy to chop. So oh, okay. I just use it for everything in life. Okay. Um, it takes three eggs and then you can go ahead and add the milk. Okay, add the milk to it. Yep. Ready? And sugar. And I mean this is basic bread pudding. Um, vanilla, you could add apples, mm -hmm. dried cherries, cranberries, raisins, uh, nuts, and there's some cinnamon and nutmeg. Okay. And just whisk it together. Perfect. Would you put this in a mixer or do it by hand? I just do it by hand. Okay. It's just so, so little of an area. It only makes 12 muffins. Oh, and you could double this. Oh, easily. Yeah. Easily. You can get okay. that one whack. There's one little egg in there that will not break up. There we go. Okay. Okay. And dump that into the bread. Okay. And this is where if you have a few extra minutes, if you can let this kind of sit and um, mm -hmm. marinate together, um, it gets a little happier. If I could give it 10, 15 minutes, I would, but we don't. So dump some but melted butter on top of it. Okay, as we're looking at the yep. recipe there. There we go. And go ahead and mix that together. Okay. Gotta have butter, right? Yeah, you gotta have butter. <laughs> and I use real butter. Okay. okay, so from here, you just take your little scoop. Okay. And this is where it says kind of fill it to the top. Mm -hmm. And I just put a little bit to start with to kind of help weight it down. And then if it needs a little more, we go from there. Okay. And then that, yeah, I don't have any clear. This That's fine, but this do. would do a dozen. Yes. And okay. then when you get done, you're going to brush it with more melted butter, just mm -hmm. a little. Okay, on top. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then sprinkle some cinnamon sugar. Perfect. And voila. That's it. And that's all you have to do. That's it. Okay, how long do you bake it for? Uh, it takes about 30 minutes. It took about 30 minutes. Ooh, and here it and is. And I just made them this morning, just so they'd be fresh for you today. They say you can put them in an air cut tight container for about two days, but they don't last two days. Tom didn't grab any? He did. Oh, yeah. That's why you don't have, Tom had one and I had one before he came mm. in. Mm-hmm. But don't you think uh, raisins and nuts and, or apples and... You could. I like it plain, though. so. So this recipe will be on our Pure Nebraska Facebook page a little bit later, right after the show. Paula, thank you. You're welcome.